Community-Based Sustainable Infrastructure. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 83. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51 c 3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 83, October 3rd, 2014 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's accomplishments and achievements for the last week with videos and pictures. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, have easy access to links to all the open source content, everything that we're creating, uh, visit our written blog. And if you'd like to receive an email update every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes California state education standards. This week, the core team, which consists of the satellite and pioneer members, finished the final 25% of the signs lesson plan mind map and the first 50% of the complete lesson plan web page. This page that you can see here is designed to teach all subjects to any age using the central theme of signs and symbology. There's also a purpose for indefinite expansion and evolution as part of the global collaborative. And if you read this page and have ideas to add, you can use the suggestions link on the page to send them to us and help us make it better. Behind the scenes, we also finished another 50% of the lesson plan design with a central theme of love, bringing us to 80% complete there. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team working on highest good food finished two more complete breakout pages from large scale gardening page. These included the beets page with all the featured beets and details you see here, plus this celery page. This new format is designed to load faster and give us the space to add recipes, gardening tips, harvesting and canning tips, videos, and more. Contact us if you have any great resources related to either of these plant species as we are constantly improving these pages. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing finished all the images and descriptions you can see here for the open source earth bag construction dome home energy infrastructure instructional web page. Uh, this is a component of the upcoming crowdfunding campaign and when we're complete this will be the most detailed and comprehensive dome home electrical instructional available. Behind the scenes we've also begun the plumbing instructional which will be equally as detailed. In addition to this we added the energy rollout and phasing in details through the first wave through the first wave uh, village construction team of 20 to 50 people. We added these to the landing party details we've got to hear, share last week. So you can see both of these here detailing how to set up initial power and then begin large scale infrastructure implementation for a teacher demonstration hub. 
Also, we added a huge frequently answered question section to this highest good energy page, and you can see that here. Lastly, we also finished the final 30% of the Murphy bed wall, changing area, and storage component images that you can see here. This brings us to 100% complete with these parts overview images, and all of these are part of the plans for this custom furniture designed by Philip Gill for the complete Earthbag Village domes. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week the core team finished walking path and landscaping details so we could create these six duplicable city center renders showing this structure and all its complete details. The inside of this structure is as detailed in 3D as the outside and you can visit the open source hub for a complete video build progression and walkthrough of the entire building. Behind the scenes we also finished the first 20% of the property wide hydronic setup details page that we'll share next week. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team updated and featured our Highest Good Economics page that you can see here, detailing our strategies for combining a resource-based economy with for-profit, non-profit, and entrepreneurial models. Visit the complete page for details and links to all the individual pages on all the individual components. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a Highest Good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. Everything one community is creating could really be summarized as community-based sustainable infrastructure. Our idea is that if we can demonstrate building teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And this has the potential to rewrite the human story to transform the way that people look at living and look at sharing and collaborating and cooperating. Imagine what could happen if we can build a prototype that people can duplicate that's designed specifically for adaptation and we can bring the price down to the point where it's really accessible to the mainstream middle America and we can demonstrate that it's easy enough that average people with average means can implement it. And then if we can demonstrate a way of life that is considered, would be considered by most people to be far superior to the way that people are living now, specifically because it provides more free time to do the things that people love to do, more access to the things that people love to do, more time with friends and family, and it's giving more than it takes. This is our idea. This is why we are open sourcing all the foundations of what we call a sustainable civilization. Because this idea of community-based sustainable infrastructure is to build the infrastructure for all aspects of the human experience and to open source and free share all of those details so that they can be duplicated either as individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration model. And to accomplish this, it's everything that you see us reporting on every week. Food infrastructure, housing infrastructure, energy infrastructure, highest good education, highest good for-profit and non-profit business creation, of recreation models, and true earth stewardship. We see this idea of community-based sustainable infrastructure as having the ability to completely regenerate our planet. Having the ability to create the incentive for people with money that can create this type of infrastructure to take it to the places where people need it the most. To supply that infrastructure in a collaboration and cooperation with, for the, with the concept of the highest good of all for everybody that's living in that environment 
working together, collaborating and cooperating to create a better planet for everyone. This is what we're up to. This is what we're creating. This is the evolution of sustainability that we are all about. Taking the idea of sustainable physical infrastructure, which is food, energy, and housing, and combining it with emotional sustainability, which is the education models. It's more enjoyable. It's parent and kid centric, has parents involved with children. The recreation model that includes more things that people like to do, ways to build a complete social architecture so that the activities that most people are paying and traveling to go and visit are all localized. They're all free, a resource-based economy implementation. All these details, highest good for-profit, non-profit business creation so that people can get out of debt and stay out of debt. Putting all these things together as an evolution of sustainability is a complete package, all for the highest good of all. Taking the consciousness for the highest good of all and creating the complete model and then sharing it. Teaching other people how to create a complete model as well. And doing the whole thing so it can be adapted to individual needs, to different ideas of different groups. That's what we're all about. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds interesting to you, we invite you to get involved. We have lots of different ways to participate in what one community is creating. We have our pioneer team, which are the people that will move to the property and help build one community. We have our satellite members, which are the people that are involved in all of our back office details, all the specifics that we're creating behind the scenes and not interested or planning on moving into moving to the property, but interested in being really a part of the team. And then we have our consultants and partners. The people that are donating their time to this amazing project because they see that what we're doing is worthwhile, because they want to be the change that they want to see in the world, because you realize that the best way to invent the future, or to create the future, or to predict the future, rather, is to invent it, is to create it ourselves. And so that's what we're doing right now. So thank you to everybody who follows our project. If you share our project with other people, that is also hugely helpful. So we always like to say that we are on all the social media networks. We are on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Reddit. We are on Pinterest. All the different social media networks so that we make it as easy as possible for people to have access to this information. Because we are in the information age and our goal is to create the blueprints, to share the blueprints, to give away the blueprints, to invite others to participate in the process of evolving all of this so we can create an even better and even bigger and even more comprehensive global archive for everybody to use. So this is what we're up to. As always, also, you know, the number one thing that we're seeking right now is help to get the property off the market. As the number one thing that could help our project right now would be if we could get the property off the market. If we could take that property off the market and share those details, share those lo that location, and be able to get on the ground with that location and the county that we've been working with now for four years, so we can get on the, on the property and actually start working out of the property specific details and open sourcing our process of doing that as well, that would help other people looking at other properties also for exactly what that process looks like. And it would accelerate our complete open source and creative process exponentially. Allow us to build our team faster, it would make our job a lot easier, and it would allow us to share those specifics and locations that everybody's interested in that would also allow us to run a crowdfunding campaign specific to the property that we've already designed. So if you're somebody who knows somebody, if you're a connector, if you're somebody who has the means to make a difference in this way, we would love to talk to you. So with that, I will say, uh, wrap up. You know, We will continue to create this community-based sustainable infrastructure idea, continue to evolve it. If you haven't looked at our website, please check it out. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, please subscribe. And uh, of course, if you'd like to just, if you prefer to do email and you'd like to receive an email, Every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will definitely add you to our email list. So until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.